Have you ever been with a former smoker or maybe this person has been you before and you guys are leaving a restaurant or you're walking through a crowded area and you walk through a cloud of smoke and immediately that person that used to find pleasure, that person that used to find joy and needed that, that tobacco, needed that nicotine shows a level of disgust, almost as if that tobacco, that smoke is making them sick. See, what we need to understand is that person has rewired the meaning of smoking in their brain. And that's where freedom is found. So in today's video, guys, I want to share with you how you can rewire the meaning of pornography in your brain. Because ultimately, if you don't change how you view it, if you don't change the meaning of pornography and what it means to you and what it means to your life and what you're getting out of it, ultimately, you always return back to it. But before jumping into today's video, guys, I remind you who we are and what we do here. My name is Frank Rich, CEO, founder, and head coach at Rebuilt Recovery, and it is our mission to help men break free from the shackles of porn addiction through the power of faith and fitness. Now, if you haven't done so yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button right there because we do release new videos every single day, Monday through Friday. And if you're curious about look, looking at this from a different lens and are curious about getting into a program or maybe having some help, I want to direct you to download our seven-step guide. It's the proven formula that we walk through with our clients and students here at Rebuild Recovery on how to identify all the ways in which porn is negatively impacting your life, how to take that and build a proactive plan to get you out of the depths of this addiction. But most importantly, what do you need to do daily to hold up yourself and discipline, to build up the ability for willpower and actually execute upon your plan every single day so you can find this freedom and live this porn-free life that we'd love to talk about here at Rebuild Recovery. So that's a seven-step guide to living life out of porn. I'm going to link it down there in the first pinned comment uh, today, guys. So after today's video, if you haven't done so yet, make sure to visit the page and download the book. But let's talk about rewiring this meaning because this is ultimately going to be where your freedom is found. So right now, you're you're you're, you're still seeking pleasure. You're, there's still something joyful about the experience of, of of PMO. There's something that you're gaining out of it, or something that you're telling yourself, or you've convinced yourself, or maybe it's you not actually consciously driving these behaviors, but because it's so ingrained in your biology and so ingrained in your neurochemistry that these things happen without you even paying attention. So how do we get out of this? How do we actually reprogram and rewire what porn means to us? Well, inside of our, inside of our coaching program here, I'll tell you the first assignment that our students and clients have to go through, because you will not find success if you don't start from this point, is you have to spend some time identifying how porn has negatively impacted your life right now. You know, I get to talk to hundreds of men on a monthly basis, and they're always asking me, can you help? I need help with this. I need to change my life. This is the case. Like I'm, I'm stuck and I can't get out of this. My first answer is, well, what's been the impact? How has porn negatively impacted you? If you are not clear on what it's done to you, because here's the thing, porn took everything from me. Porn literally took everything that I had worked 20 years to build in my life. I had a company that was doing a half a million dollars. I had uh, an incredible relationship, somebody that truly loved me and wanted to spend their future with me. But because I was so selfish, because I was so ignorant in my behavior and in my actions, even though I found freedom, the damage had already been done. Okay, so for me, porn had literally stripped away everything. Hundreds of thousands of dollars, a future wife, uh, uh, literally, you know, somebody that, like I said, wanted to spend their life with me. So for me, when I, when I made the decision, it was clear it had taken everything from me and there was no other, there was no other way, uh, to continue down life unless I was going to change. So I put a lot of, I took all the responsibility on myself. Now, maybe the, maybe the impact hasn't been as drastic. Maybe you haven't lost hundreds of thousand dollars. Maybe you haven't lost the right woman yet, but you're probably close. But you need to spend some time getting really, really clear on the impact that it's had on you because that needs to be your starting point. Because if you can get clear on the impact and then actually sit there and process it and think about, okay, this is destroying my life. And these are extreme words and they're meant to be because I think that's how, it's a, how serious we need to go into this, into this journey. That's where we need to start from, from a place of like, it's do or die. You know, and, 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 and I talked about in a previous video about a couple months ago about being fed up with the current situation that you're in. And not till you get to that point can you begin to rewire this, okay? But when we understand that, that our brain and, 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 and that meaning that we attach to things is nothing more than, than the experiences that we've gone through. So we've been down this path of 5, 10, 15 years seeking this pleasure, seeking this joy. 
And there's something about that trigger um, that, that calls on that meaning and says that's where you need to go. But you need to lay the groundwork. You need to get clear on what the impact has been at the beginning. Then when you're alerted, then when you're triggered, it's got to be a conscious awareness of a reminder of no, I don't want to seek this. This is a lie that I'm telling myself. And then over time, you begin to re literally reprogram yourself. It's not a flip of a switch. It's not how it happens. It's not one day you make a decision and then the next day you're changed. You don't have to do anything. You have to understand that this is a day in and day out continuous cycle. But understanding from the beginning, if you can get really, really clear on what the impact has been. And that's why I talk about the five S because I think if we could, if we could look at our life through the lens of faith, fitness, finance, family, and freedom, for A, we're going to cover all of our bases because if there's something that you're doing that doesn't fall into one of those five categories, chances are it's holding you back. Chances are it's not serving you in any way to become a better man. Chances are it's not serving you to step into a meaningful, purpose-driven life. So think about how your relationship with pornography has impacted your faith. How has it broken you spiritually? How has it stolen your soul? How has it impacted your fitness, your physical fitness, your health, your mental fitness, your emotional fitness? How has it impacted your finance? Okay, not just your ability to show up and produce income and be productive at work, but because you're always scatterbrained, because you can't stay focused, because you can't make proper decisions with your investments or with your money, you're probably not doing very well on the financial side of things. So think about that as well. Where's the impact been financially? Where's the impact been to your family? Obviously, if you're married and with kids, then we know that you're probably keeping secrets from them. And that means you're not showing up as a true, authentic father and dad in those moments. And then think about your other relationships as well uh, if you're not married. And then think about your freedom. Okay, not just from freedom from living a life where you're not chained and shackled to a vice and to an addiction, but freedom, like getting out and experiencing and living in the world and creating memories and having experience with those that you love. So those are the areas that I like to talk about when I talk about, you know, how has the impact been? Because I think if you start from there, if you spend 30 minutes to an hour this week, getting clear on all of these things, and then it's not just do it once, but it's recall that and spend some time in, in, in a state of meditation. Think about these things in the real impact they've had. And, and, and over time, these become the wiring. Okay, now that's just the beginning. You have to then make a plan for improving those areas. Okay, if all we did was we like, you know, sat in pity and guilt because this is how bad my life has been, then you're just going to be a self-aware porn addict. And that's not a good place to be. You need to make a plan to get yourself out of it. So if you've identified in each one of those five areas that porn has negatively impacted you in a specific way, then your approach needs to be to make a plan to improve those specific things without pornography. It's, it's really simple, guys, when you break it down into these actionable steps. You want to fix something in your life, identify the impact that it's had, make a plan, and then execute upon your plan and then reward yourself for doing the things that you said you're gonna do. Acknowledge yourself, and that's where you begin to rewire that reward center. You give yourself that self head of dopamine. But if you can't rewire the meaning of pornography right now, if, if porn is still there to give you something, then you're always gonna to wanna to return back to it. It's gotta be a fine line, you gotta cut it off and realize that it, I, it, it doesn't matter what my relationship has been up until this point. It doesn't serve me anymore, it doesn't cur serve the current, version of me and it's definitely not serving the newer version the version in the future and that's it guys if you can if you can go through this process if you can spend some time every day reminding yourself of the negative impact and working towards the newer version of yourself and creating that life without pornography that's the process of unwiring and rewiring your brain and ultimately stepping into living a porn free life so hope today's video was valuable hope it was helpful something real actionable to walk away with so after you watch this you know set it set some time aside in the next two days in the next three days to sit down with your journal and map out and get really clear on what the impact has been if you can do that you're you're steps ahead of many other men um and then just continue down the path and you will find freedom brother i know this uh i'm here for you we're we're supporting you we're in your corner. If you need some help, you know how to reach us. But Frank Rich from Rebuild, uh, Rebuild Recovery, I'll see you guys on the other side.